Ciao a tutti Marcello and welcome to a new first look video. Today we take a look at Scald against the Black Priory, a turn-based tactical RPG with an open world that lets you be whoever you want. An 8-bit inspired graphic style, Lovecraft and horror and more. This is the demo available through the Steam Next Fest and I'm going to try it to see what it's all about. Let's go! Scald against the Black Priory This feature is not implemented yet, it'll be soon though, so stay posted by following the project on Steam. Will do. Quick start. On the wind up raging seas of the outer isles, a lone caravel struggles against the winds and waves towards the accursed islands of Idra. The moan of creaking timbers, the tang of preserved fish, your eyes slowly enters to the darkness of the ship's timely it old. Suddenly something strikes the earl, and the ship rocks violently, your heart begins to pound and a feeling of unease grows in your stomach. Rise well rested and ready to go, get up, mouth dry and head pounding, rose yourself from deep meditation. Rose yourself from deep meditation. You get your freedom and become aware of agitated voices shouting up on the deck, something is not right. You should make your way up to the top and get a bearing on the situation, be on your way. Here we are, Zephyr's Hold. This is our character, let's see Andros attributes. Andros is a race human, a class rogue, background mercenary, gender male, level 1, XP to go 1000. Primary stats, agility, fortitude, intellect, presence and strength. Uh, you can have more info about everything. Secondary start, attunement. What is attunement? Describe a card of magical energy and determine how many spells can be cast. Fullness, resolve, vitality and wounds. Combat starts, critical chance, dodge initiative, melee skills, melee damage, movement, natural soak, ranged skill. Um, uh, ranged? It looks like. Athletics, then we got the skills. Athletics, awareness, diplomacy, lore, stealth, survival and thievery. This regarding the Carter. Then we got the inventory. Feats. You make an attack at a four penalty, but with a chance to bypass opponent's armors. The backstab. And no, this is the backstab. Any successful attack against a defenseless flanked center surprise opponent scores an automatically critical hit. You clearly don't have any spells. This is a quested Zephyr. You need to investigate what is happening with the Zephyr. And factions. House of Baron, there's a, a lot of them. Nautical Guild, Reavers, the Hundred Sons, Zephyr Crew, and more. Let's exit and let's start moving around. You see a pile of straw. A desk with a Maridum navigation map. The map is able the Outer Isles, and a curse is drawn towards an island named Idra. Something just struck the ship. There's a chest. And we got a sword. Let me see if I need to equip it. No hostile. Okay. This dark areas are nice. Um, to your surprise, you realize that this door has been locked from the outside. It doesn't bother. Perhaps you could. Uh, slip the lock with the thin blade, use dagger. You slip the dagger through a gap in the door. So we can continue. I spotted something. We got something here. Load everything. You stop dead as you morally avoid stepping in a rust red puddle. The stench of blood fills your nostrils as you look around in the dim light of old. You let someone or something uh, fought for their life here. Same moment the voice hits you, uh, his sound from the shadows. So with the shadows are hunched, feral looking phones linking forward. Damn, let's attack. Draw steel, this is the battle system. Uh, we got all the uh, actions down below. Perform, cast a spell, use a feat. Select new target, uh, pass turn and defend, open inventory, hold action till end of turn, view combat log and repeat the last action. Use a feed, what is? Open more. The pierce armor. I only got this one. 
Then we got a spell, but I don't have any. And... He missed. I'm flanked. Uh, let's try the first armor. Um, as you can see, the, the sword upon the enemy means that is my target. I can change it by selling a new target. I can easily do with the with the button. Everything can be done from here. Blooded. One down with a critical. Let's proceed. A little bit faster. Victory! Uh, you've defeated your enemies, each party member gain 123 HP. There is a loot on the ground, rat tails. Loot all and leave. We got some of this, I think. Oh! Another door to open. You merge into a ship lowest deck as your eyes and just to the darkness you become aware of a hulking figure standing in the shadows. Andros, there you are at least, growls a rough voice. Who's there? Show yourself. It's Roland, where the ties have you been? Why are you skulking around? The brute chuckles, shadow suits a face like this just fine, no matter there's a trouble and you're needed on the deck. Now. What for? What all that noises? The island is inside, but the dang guy gilders refuse to land. They want to turn back. If we turn back, we lose our shot at the girl. And no one gets paid. Listen here, I know our boys better than most. We hired them to go to Idra and kill. If we don't pay them, things will go badly. Let's go. For all the good it will, I will do. It will do. Wait, there's a few sailors up ahead, rattled as a pair of rabbits. Uh, is there a way past them? We are not here to make friends, if that's what you're suggesting. Is there a way past them? Spill sailor's blood and the gill will want to make you pay. Take the left door ahead and spare us some trouble and a pay cut. Perhaps anything else you feel compelled to tell me? Let's just get off. You and Roland begins making your way towards the commotion on deck. Press Q or press the card portrait to swap the party leader. I can swap the party leader. Um, a human warrior. I'm a rogue. Okay. You see a Owen? A shady wooden chest. Uh, pick Tiberi uh, 4 versus difficult 10. Athletics 3 versus difficult 10. Pick of force the lock. Let's try to pick. Andros does not have thieves tools. If I want to force. Success. Result of turn a different uh, party. Unlocked. What is this? Keys. Press control to enter stealth mode. Stick to the shadows and be sure to reach cover before your stealth reaches zero. If the stealth indicator is green, you are in cover. I spotted something. You merge into the deck and see two groups of men facing each other with weapons drawn. The ship shakes violently in the grip of a storm as lightning tears across the sky. 
Amidst the din of the storm and their frantic arguments, you bellow for the attention of the assembled crewmen and mercenaries, both of the ship captains and the leader of the mercenaries you hire, a costo of a man named Estavo, turns their attention to you. They look ready to use the unhinged weapons in their hands at the slightest provocation. Address the ship captain, address the mercenary. You direct your attention to the ship's captain, you know him to be a reasonable but suggestible man, at present his usable placid eyes are wild, wild with panic or anger. I paid you for passengers to the shore, did I not? Why have we not dropped anchor? Something that starts these shores we cannot approach without risking the ire of that horror. A gator mother of a Greek man rises from the sailors. What horror? What have you seen? Not by glimpses by men have seen the shadow of something deep in water stalking us. Nothing natural moves like that. A stab of glares murderously at the captain. You're an edge on our deal based on a glimpse? There is desperation in the captain's voice. We are seasoned and sailor. We do not bark at shadows. You need to be alive and rescue this girl you speak of. We are out of time. Sail us in or argue the point with Estavo. You speak sense, perhaps it's better to turn around. Estavo, have at it. The southern silly gaze from you to the to the captain. Let me spell this out for you, sea dog. The mercenaries you are all shift their weight in anticipation of making good on that promises. Captain, he's right. Do what you were hired to do. Estavo, convince the man. Something changes in the captain's expression. He stands tall. I will not order my ship and my men to certain doom. We shall not get any closer to the coast while I have command. Attack. I defer you, Judgment Captain Estavo. Stand down. Diplomacy versus stand. I believe you, but my contract with this man does not mention your survival. Let's try Diplomacy 3, difficulty 10. Failure. Estavo grins begins to show teeth as he hears your words. The color drains. Fight the crew. Draw steel. Let's see. Um. Is this an enemy? These are all enemy. These are good. These are the enemies. I love it so far. And damage. Oh, oh, I need to. Blooded. Let me see if I have something because I'm, all, I'm almost. I'm almost ready to die. Told. Good value. Lemons, type food, potatoes, steel fin salt. Pass turn and defend. Set a new target, use a feat, cast a spell. Old action. Turn and defend. Up to resist. They will do the rest. Nice, a backstab. Victory. In the video, I'm each party member against uh, 73. There's a loot on the ground, dagger and club. Loot all and leave. 
Yuri has Sosa arms and survived the carnage, they then suddenly a loud crash and something collides violently with the hull. Surviving mercenaries and crewmen alike fight to keep their footing at the ship lodges. Suddenly huge monstrous tentacles burst from the water around the ship. After reaching their full aid, the tentacles curve inboard and smash into the ship, some pierce straight through the deck, others snap the masts like they were matchsticks. You stand frozen in place. Throughout a haze of spitter wood and panic screams, you notice Roland. He throws himself out of the way of a tentacle but begins to fall overboard. The ship lur lurkers once more. Go to Roland aid, leave Roland to his fate. Go to Roland aid. You dash toward the ship, further dodging always in the dying wooded man beside you for while Roland hangs by one arm. Try to grab him. You left Roland's arm but he loses his grip and your fingers close only around thin hair. You miss him by an ink. He falls towards it all downward. He watches his wallow by the raging sea. As you jump here, the terrible running of food giving to flesh, peaceful blackness. Sink. Very nice. Where am I? The villa of Lord Cato, fat insect. Buzz daily about in a worm. Okay, guys, I think as a first look, it's good enough. Go play the demo yourself. Is is on Steam. Let me know what you think about Scald in the comments. And don't forget to hit like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and also consider supporting me through all my pages. Wish you the best. Ciao.